so programming the retivus um r a685 um right relatively straightforward let's start recording the screen so that i can uh, go through this with you um first thing you need to do is go to the retivus website uh, which isn't too difficult to do it is literally r e v e ret uh, no it's not is it <laughs> Retivus.com. So R E T E V I S dot com. Um, go to the amateur tab down to analog radios. Um, now we need to locate this particular one, the RA six five six eight five, which is this one. Um, okay, open that particular tab. And as you see here, it says programming software, please click support to download. Well, there's support, so click on support. And uh, software, download software. That should download. There we go. Now we go to where it is on the computer. Um, it's a zip file, so you will need a an unzipping tool, um, 7-zip or something similar, uh, and then you uh, uncompress it. So here it is, uncompressed. Go in, double-click on Setup, and uh, go through the Setup procedure. Just follow the on-screen. It works perfectly. Right, once you've done all that, You'll get a little icon on your screen that looks like this. Um, double click on the icon. Hopefully it will launch the, uh, the software. Um, if not, try again. There we go. Takes a few moments. And there we go. So at this point, we need to plug our programming lead in. So in this particular instance, it's... Uh, on the side of this computer being a surface pro uh, just push it in there we go um, flip the side down on the uh, on the handheld press it home and now we need to do is let that um, install for the first time it probably hasn't got a port setting at the moment I let that install um, it may need to be switched off the finder port. I don't know. Um, you can go and find the port settings. Device manager. I guess it'll probably be COM4 or something similar. Ports. COM4 it is. So no problems at all. Relaunch the software. It may be a different port for you. It's port 4 for me. And uh, we can go straight to, um, it's already saying it's COM4 down there, so that's good. Straight to read and press the old magic button. And the handshake is being done. Is it going to be done? Is it going to work? Do I turn the radio off? I did. <laughs> okay. There we go. So those are the uh, all of the uh, oh they are look there there's the uh, the one I manually did at the top um, and uh, these are all the ones that actually came with the radars uh, as the presets. So very easy thing to do. Um, so to program it, all you need to do is highlight. Um, I'm just do a new line uh, number nineteen. Let's do a simplex channel. So one four five. Not 500, which is the calling channel in the UK. Tab that one. It fills in all the blanks for you. And here at the end, I could write, um, what is it? It is a two meter call. So two M space call. Um, and let's do the split for a repeater, for instance. Uh, let's do the Hmm. let's do the glossary repeater again because I know there's numbers off the top of my head. Uh, so it's 145.725. Hmm. 
okay tab that one um, there's no ctcss tone for the um, receive because it's not um it's an open received um repeater it's not encoded however we do need an, an offset so the transmit frequency um is going to be a one two five not seven two five so one two five and the repeater frequency uh, i expect there's a drop down yes there is lovely is um what is it it's uh 118.8 isn't it 118.8 uh, power high um what else do we need to know there's no ptt id needed the busy is off this add it to scan signal one no special but we will name it gb now let's do it in caps uh, gb free c g and we'll save this as first save let's try that one um there you go first save it's already there Boom. do you want to replace it because i've done this already once um and then to write to the to the radio you simply go up to write and press start Okay, so let's take the radio out and let's have a look and see what we've got. So, what did we preset? We preset number 19 and so let's go up to channel 19. So 19 was the calling channel as you can see. I think we could probably change that so that it says um, the name rather than the frequency. Um, 20. And there we go, 20 happens to be our split CG. So that works perfectly well. Um, let me just go into the menus a minute and see if we can actually put a name on rather than frequency let's have a quick look doing this rather slowly because i'm reading them as well our tone oh there you go so it's on a and b so if we put name there we go go down Do the same there. Confirm. Exit it. Uh, there you go. So it says GB3 CG. What's it say if we haven't got a frequency a name? One, two, it goes with the frequency. Two meter call. That's cool. Yep. Okay. So if you uh, can't uh, download the proprietary uh, um, software or you don't want to and you've got Chirp, uh, you can, of course, use Chirp. Um, so let's uh, download from radio. This is where you have to find it. And the latest version will have uh, Retivus ARA685. Um, and you can just go and it will download all the information. And again, it will give you the same thing on the uh, radio. So you can download the radio's contents into Chirp. There we go. Let's put it on there. And uh, as you can see, it works perfectly well. Okay. Let's have a look at the, uh, the radio itself. because I think this one gives us a few extra things to play with. I might, might not. So settings, there you go, it's on the, there. So, what have we got? We 
we've got channel or channel plus name what that means because at the moment it's showing the frequency as you can see so let's put it to uh, channel and see what that gives us uh work mode is channel voice enabled yes okay scratch was so advanced Ooh, lots of bits and pieces uh, okay nothing really interested in here that i'm interested in at least okay let's write it back to the radio upload to a radio there you go as easy as that go see what happens there we are so we can leave the top one on uh, on the name and the uh, second band on the frequency that works quite well actually we can put them both on i shall reload that because that works perfectly well It works perfectly well. Boom, finished. Excellent. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Let's close that. Don't need that anymore. Yep, we'll save that. Right. GB3 CG. Tell you what I didn't do, actually. Oh, it is on. It is in dual mode, so it will, it will monitor both. So I've got CG and GH. Let's see if GH works. Well, that doesn't surprise me. So I see. That does surprise me. That's a long way away, I see. Right. And last but not least, let's see if we've got SG, which is Stroud, about uh, 15 miles from here. M0 MSN testing? No. Nah. Didn't think we would have. Been very surprised if we've got that one. Okay, cool.